Basharu last night. Uh, well, yesterday afternoon, looking for the wallet. No good. Nope. I'm sad. Yeah, so we wound up having a pretty nice night. Um, it got dark. We made steaks. Yeah, well that, yeah, that campground we were in that was our, like our, our impromptu customs office <laughs> where we tore everything apart, but sometime during the night it started raining. We woke up, I don't know, about 7.30 and uh, the rain had stopped and while we were still kind of just laying in bed going, all right, it's kind of chilly, what should we do about the chilly, what's our plan of attack? It started raining again. Yeah. Yes. But then it stopped raining. It got sunny. And it's absolutely beautiful right now. Look at this crap. Yeah, it's very nice. Oh, you can see some clouds out on the horizon. Um, over in the, the next region. Not terrible, but it's sunny where we're at right now. It's the temperature. It's cool, but it's not cold. Dragon Lady has different ideas of definitions of cool versus cold um, than, than I do. across this really cool mine, uh, or X, X mine, mine ruin, whatever you want to call it. Um, it's been raining on us the last hour or so. Not super heavy, just steady. Right now it's just a kind of a little half a drizzle. And it is the Empire Mine. Hey, it's got a Facebook thing. Facebook.com slash Empire Mine MT. Yes, we're still in Montana. Like that. Read the words. A winds is sunk to 130. $350,000 in ore. Flotation mill equipment is installed in the place of the stamps. I don't always read those things. There go Dragon Lady. 
pretty beautiful place, though. This valley. Incredible. So we just passed through Helena, Montana, um, which some of it seems to be a pretty nice kind of cool old style, old town kind of town. Um, I don't know if you're pointing that at me or not. Oh, because I, I go for here. Anyway, um, yeah, and we just made a quick, uh, we stopped, got gas, we got, uh, we got to the Target picked up a couple things, so it was kind of just an errand stop town real quick. Um, and now we're back out into the woods, out on the other side of Helena, and uh, going to go find a place to camp. It is late in the day. It is 5 o'clock truck time, Arizona time, uh, which makes it 6 on the daylight time, so... Anyway, uh, yeah, we need to find ourselves a camp. And then camp. So we pitched camp for who knows what this is. Night three, we're gonna lose count um, soon. If not today, then tomorrow. So here we are, done chopped up some wood, got a fire going, a few of them. And it is cold. That weather that you see behind me and all around me really blew in just as we cleared Helena, um, it hasn't tried to rain on us yet, but it will. We went ahead and threw up the annex. We have the heater on. It's still an hour before sunset, and it's uh, last I saw before I shut the truck down, the truck was reading 38 outside. So. Somebody in Helena said they're expecting snow. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> what the 
suppose. I, 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 don't, know. I don't know. Maybe it could. It probably doesn't, but it might. You know what I want to get? No. <laughs> what I like about those sponges with the little smiley face, the more worn they get, the more horrified they look. And when they're just the, uh, the absolute face of terror and death, they're done. Get a new one. Uh, what are we doing with these? They burn? If not, they can I go don't know what that will be. We're making our coffee. Oh, look what I found. The big news in this morning's discussion. It is June, what, 20th? 21st. June 21st. Last night, yesterday, was June 20th. Mathematicians should be able to keep up. Um, last night, just as we were going to bed, it started to snow. It was damn cold. That's why we have the annex up. We ran Mr. Mr. Buddy heater. We were not expecting that we would run that heater again till November. After well, the last time we used it was in Death Valley. In, also in June. Come sit down. Why? Because we're having chats. No, well, you're having chats. We can both have chats. So, yeah. Freezing, driving wind, snow. It's really nice this morning. Uh, we got a squirrel in our camp. Today's journey should take us... Uh, probably at least to Wise River, Montana, which is in the very bottom of Montana, which if that's how far we get, then maybe tomorrow we'll be out of Montana into Idaho. Um, we should be out of Montana today, shouldn't we? So, once these here coffees get uh, absorbed, Uh, and then uh, we'll put some proper adventure clothing on. Tell a story. You already told the story. Voice from beyond. Which, well, there's more stories. Such as? I don't know, we're on an adventure. There's tons of stories. So we're driving all over the country, putting on this big, big show for everybody in the Rockies. Are we a big, big show? Probably not. Oh, yeah. The sun is gone. Time to put on my adventure clothing. Where? Hi. Hi. Come here. Say important things. Like People what? want to see you more than me. <laughs> As usual, yeah. Good morning. Even like at all the Shiv Works classes, at Jiu Jitsu, everybody's like, well, is, is Regina coming? Is your wife coming? Dragon Lady? I can't say her real name on the internet. Oh, you can. <laughs> I know. But I kind of don't. So, anyway, 
Yeah, and then I'm like, no, she's not going to be able to make it. And they're like, oh, but you're coming, huh? Yeah? I'm like, oh, well, all right. We just got out of that whole technical section and that was fun and it was a good time and now we're kind of on a little more sizable road. The first time we've been technical and in four low and kind of slipping in the mud on some climbs and dealing with forest service guys and we didn't get any video of their giant piece of machinery, did we? No. Oops. Can we talk to a couple of the other Forest Service guys who are supporting the guy in the big equipment? Um, and they were telling us, well, in fact, we got to them trying to erect a barricade. They're like, oh, go ahead. They just wanted to close it uh, temporarily while they do that work in there, in that section. So they let us go through. Uh, and that's where we got into some of that dicey, muddy, climby stuff. And they told us if we had trouble in there, they'd come check on us and help us stack rocks or whatever was the guy's, how he put it. We'll, we'll get the chains out and stack rocks or whatever. <laughs> You're like, 
All right, man, cool. We'll see what happens. Um, and we motored through it. Uh, one climb was a little, a little interesting, a little tricky. I could feel that the truck was working in that mud to get the trailer up behind it. Um, but all in all, awesome, cool time. That uh, I think we've enjoyed that section of trail most so far this trip. It was fun on the motorcycles too. So one of the things that just amazes us desert dwellers is the insane volume of just free water running all by itself doing its own thing. We just don't get a lot of this. But <laughs> Dragon Lee is taking a picture of me with my camera. It's just amazing. Can't get enough of this. Okay, we're doing this again. <laughs> so here's what happened. And I don't want to just, well, in fact, I can't just edit my way through it, so I'll explain the problem. Um, and I've had this problem a bunch of times. If you follow this channel enough, you've seen this problem a few times where we're we're trucking along and we're having a fine time and everything's wonderful and it's midday and then all of a sudden we're having coffee the next morning because what happens sometimes uh that i'm still trying to try to get myself better at making these little videos telling those little, these little stories is late in the day we start looking for the for a campsite maybe we're getting hungry and just generally stop thinking about uh video videoing anything um and particularly if it gets late real late and we get to camp pretty late and we're hungry and we're tired and we just want to get camp set up, get some dinner made, and go to bed. Um, 
maybe, you know, then there's, of course, some other little busy work, like getting files moved off of all the memory cards onto hard drives, stuff like that. Um, Dragon Lady's usually got things to do. And then we just go to bed, and I find myself waking up the next morning going, yeah, I forgot to kind of somehow in the capturing of the story, I forgot to make yesterday end. And now magically tomorrow has begun. So that's kind of what happened here. Um, here's the sun. We still have a ways to go. We drive down, and it's kind of a nifty bit of this story too, especially if any of you think you want to come and drive this route. Down here in this valley, somewhere, is the interstate. We cross the interstate, go up here to the left of this picture is the trail goes over a mountain called Mount Fleecer. You don't want to do that in a truck. You'll die. Um, we did it three years prior on motorcycles and we could have died. We turned back before we died. Um, it's part of the mountain bike route, the mountain bike continental divide race route. It's part of what most adventure bike riders do, but some of them go around it. Um, it is a trail that doesn't switch back down the side of a mountain. It just rolls and gets steeper and steeper and steeper, far steeper than a truck can descend safely. Um, it's barely doable on a motorcycle. It's, I mean, it's dicey. So anyway, uh, it was, it would have been a nice thing to have caught on video that we're diverting from those well-known GPS tracks, hitting the interstate and going south to where we did camp and that's covered. And when we rejoin this video next, it'll be tomorrow morning. Um, I got to get better at that working on it. Someday, <laughs> someday I'll get one of these right. Anyway, um, that's it. And I think, I think based on my video, that's the end of today. Yeah, so that is actually uh, pretty much going to wrap up this video. Um, the next video will start with the next day after bypassing this Mount Fleecer thing, dropping down the interstate for about 10 minutes and uh, catching catching uh, I forget the name of the river. It's near Wise River, Montana, but uh, it was a campground at some big fork dirt road river montana i forget um but we'll cover all that soon